Okay, I'm just going to show how to use pages um, in order to create custom blocks. Uh, first, I'll just give me some content out of this front page. I'll grab this whole darn thing. There we go. Copy. And now let's go to pages, add new. And the first page you're going to be is the one you're actually going to edit. This one. So you create this. You don't put any content in it because this is the block that you're going to actually put the blocks into. So we're editing this in the visual editor. It's the page that we're going to edit. Okay, so let's go to add new. And this one, uh, add this first. Doesn't matter what you call it because um, you're the only person who's ever going to see this heading up here, most likely. Well, I don't know. There's some cases where you will. You have to hide titles sometimes. But anyhow, let's keep this straight. This is right now, it's a heading three, and it's a heading four, okay? So let's make this a, this one right here, let's make that a heading three. And make that a heading two. It shouldn't change very much, but there you go. So I'll change that. All right, so go ahead and publish. And it's got all that content in it. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, we'll take out from checkout down. Cut. Here we are. Update. And create another one. And we'll add the second. Paste this in there. Well, let's put a picture in here. So we'll upload insert. The new upload insert button. I already have a picture in here. And we'll make it left justified, insert into post. And there we have it. So, um, oops, don't do that. Undo, okay. Go ahead and publish. So now we have a block that has a picture in it and some text. We can style things more using this. We can uh, underline. So even the basic kitchen sink has got some stuff that we're capable of doing. And you can paste from Word into a WordPress blog. So anything that you've done in Word, colors and all that, you can get right out of Word and paste it right into a WordPress page. So now we're going to go over here to the Headway grid and uh, we're going to edit this post, that first post that we made in the grid editor. And we're going to add two blocks. So let's go ahead up here to single page and you see I have these pages. So edit this one. is the one we're editing. Up comes the Visual editor with the thing. We're going to use an empty grid and create a content block here and another content block here. Okay, let's edit this content block and under mode, change it from default behavior to custom query. Go to query filters and under fetch, say Add this first, is the page we're going to throw in there, and you'll see it change right away. Now let's do this one. And change it from default behavior to custom query. Under query filters, we'll fetch, add the second. And there you'll see it change right away. Hit save. And we'll take a look and see what it looks like under manage. Okay, so I hope that's uh, interesting to you. It's real quick way you realize you get all of the tools um, that you have available to you in editing a page a WordPress page are handed to you here and so uh, you can really go to town and what shows up in these blocks and position these blocks anywhere you want you can resize these blocks you can make them have different characteristics and um, and they will the height will auto expand to fill the uh, to fill the amount just like a regular block but you can even adjust things like that so uh, but the easiest thing is that you can control the content of the block just by editing a page I can change this content just by going to the page that this is based on and bingo it's changed but not beyond that I can also change other things so there you have it yeah and I did it in five minutes with 15 seconds to spare all right take care